Yo, what up, what up? It's your man, Big Brandon Carter. I'm out here in Orlando on business. I had to do some, I had to do some business meetings out here. You know, I'm working on something kind of big, or it's big for me at least, you know. Uh, so I had, I had a meeting with these guys, right, with this, this company. And uh, before the meeting, I was doing all this preparation, you know, like reading all my, you know, rereading a lot of the, 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 the books I have on pitching, pitching, pro pitching ideas, pitching uh, on sales, on presentations. Uh, one of my followers sent me the, 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 you know, the Wolf of Wall Street, the real Wolf of Wall Street, the guy, not the character, but the fucking real guy. He has a, a video course on persuasion. One of my followers sent that shit to me a while, so I re rewatched that. Get all my fucking ducks in a row, making sure I study and making sure my sales and presentation tactics were ready because this deal was kind of like big, you know? But then, once I get into the deal, I realize I didn't need that shit, right? I didn't need any of that. Like, all these hours of studying, it was, it was all became like a moot point because... How do I say this? I don't know how to say this without sounding cocky, but like, I got the fucking goods, man. Like, the shit, the reason we want to do the deal is because they know I fucking, my shit is fucking right. I got data to support that my, I, you know, I'm on my shit. I got a good, my offering what I bring to the table is fucking awesome. And that's what I got, that's what I'm trying to say, like, you can learn all these tactics for, like, sales, or persuasion, or marketing, and you can, or even, like, with, with like, women, you can learn, like, oh, how, to, how do you talk to women, how do you be good, you know, you can learn all the tactics, you can read all the PUA stuff, and that's cool, you know, I got friends in the PUA community, you know, like, my homie Owen, uh, I mean, sorry, Tyler, Tyler RSD, I'm gonna holler at him when I'm in LA next week. But, and that's and my, my boy Roosh, that's my dog. You know, I'm gonna be, I might be speaking at one of his uh, conferences coming up. But, I say, but you don't, if you really awesome, you don't need all that shit. You think fucking Matthew McConaughey, a handsome, <laughs> Paul's a handsome, uh, famous uh, Oscar award winning millionaire, has to fucking persuade a woman to, to go out with him? You think he has to like do a lot? You think he has to convince her? You think he has to read up on fucking PUA manuals before he asks for a date? Nah, man, because he's got the fucking goods. Hot chicks on Instagram, you think she's trying to convince all these guys to go out with her? You think she's <laughs> she's out here uh, uh, reading like Cosmopolitan, how to get the guy articles? Nah, man, she's fucking hot as fuck, so she's got guys clamoring to get with her. Same thing with business. Like, if your shit is fucking awesome, you good, man. Like, people will come to you, right? People, uh, for instance, I'm not a big fan of Donald Trump, the person, right? The per uh, But he's successful, right? He's got the goods. So people compete <laughs> to fucking, on a show, to work with him, the apprentice, you know, and shit. Because he's got the goods. He doesn't have to go out, go look for resumes on monster.com and, and try to convince. He doesn't have to hire a head, a headhunter <laughs> to go out there and find the, the, the people who... Are, are fit for his organization people fucking come to him because he's got the goddamn goods and that's how it was with this deal like these people came to me they approached me about about the deal because i had the goods but i still it's such a it, the thing is such a the deal made me a little nervous because it was kind of the the proportion of it I, I felt like i needed to study all this shit and then when i get there i didn't even need that shit man because they fucking they were trying to sell them on me you know what i'm saying they were trying to sell them on me you can always tell who got the goods Cause the person with the goods is trying to sit, do the selling, you know. If you got bad credit, you got to convince motherfuckers to work with you. If you got A1 credit and a and a that and a large sum of uh, liquid assets, liquid assets too, then motherfuckers are will try to then salesmen will try to sell you, right, on to buy whatever they're selling. And that's that's I think that's just one of the keys, man, to life. I really think this is one of the keys to life. Just be fucking good, be fucking awesome, and everything's easier. Everything's just fucking easier, man. How do you get hot chicks, man? Be the type of dude that hot chicks want, man. Be fucking successful. Be wealthy. <laughs> uh, build, be, uh, build, a, build a, a good body so you're as attractive as you can, as you can be. Maximize your, attractive, your attractiveness level. Maximize your income level. Maximize your success level. And chicks will fucking come to you, man. You won't have to do shit. People will say, hey, man, what if I'm not rich? What if I'm not handsome? Listen, you can, those are things you can work on. Though, I mean, you know, you can work on financial stability. You can work on being more attractive. 
you can work on uh, increasing your success level. Certainly, you know. If you if you if you couldn't, then we wouldn't even we wouldn't teach the shit. You know, we wouldn't have business schools. We wouldn't have gymnasiums where people can get in better shape. You know, like there's a reason for all that shit. Cause, cause skill acquisition is key, man. I mean, be awesome. Like just be fucking awesome. When Tiger Woods was at the top, the hot. Okay, my when LeBron James was getting drafted into the fucking uh, NBA as a, as a teenager right out of high school. People knew what he was doing. He had the fucking goods. So he didn't have to truck and go to fucking different companies at, and try to sell him sell him on endorsements. They were trying to sell him. They were competing because he's the motherfucker. He's got the fucking goods. So Nike put up an astronomical amount of money. They gave him $100 million as a teenager because he just had the fucking goods. He didn't have to negotiate. He didn't have to sell them on that idea. They sold him. For, but uh, by contrast, uh, my homegirl, she works for Macy's. She's a, she's a buyer for Macy's. And uh, Nike makes more money selling at their own retail stores, right? Like, and the margins are higher because they don't have to split. You know, the mar it's, it's better for Nike not to sell in, in, in big department stores or big malls, right? Uh, like Macy's or whatever. So she has to fucking convince Nike <laughs> to, to let her buy the shit. To put in their stores, but because Nike, because Macy's doesn't have the goods like that, right? I mean, there's a good multi-million dollar company, billion dollar company, right? But what I'm saying is, Nike, Nike is the one who has the goods because Macy's has to sell Nike, right? But LeBron had the goods because Nike tried to sell him. So who's ever doing the selling is the one who have to, has the goods. If you have to like learn all the PUA shit, if you have to study the techniques to meet girls then you, you understand it, it's, it's basically sales. Like you're trying to sell her on your penis or, or a relationship or, or a date, right? So who's ever doing the selling is, not, is the one who doesn't have the goods, right? You're selling, the reason you're trying to sell to that person, the reason you're trying to market that person because they got the fucking goods. But if she's coming at you, she's blowing up your DM, she's blowing up your text, who you think got the goods, you know? And she's trying to, like, so every once in a while I'll say to a girl, like, yeah, man, young girls, yeah, all young girls say that. And she's, and she's, I'm not like most young girls. I, every girl over 25 says this. I'm not like most, under, every girl under 25 says this. I'm not like other girls. I'm more mature. You know, most people I hang out with are older than me. She's trying to sell herself. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to sell herself to whoever she's talking to. Because that, that dude's got the goods. Right? If you're trying to convince a girl... This shit then she got the goods. At least relatively speaking, right? For like the Macy's example, there's other companies that come to my homegirl to say convince them to buy from them, right? Because Macy's got the goods in that situation. It's all relative. There's always a hierarchy, right? I'm sure there's some situation where LeBron has to sell himself. But maybe not though. Like the fucking best basketball player in the fucking world might never have to fucking sell himself to anyone. Right? There's there's a reason you always see uh Commercials and advertisements for Toyota and Honda because they're, they're, they're good, you know, they're good cars, you know But you never see advertisement for fucking Lamborghinis. You never see advertisement for fucking Bentleys. You never see commercials for that shit Right? It's the fucking best. You don't have to convince the people, you don't, you don't have to convince people that that shit is the best Or at least Really, I mean, to, it depends on who you're talking to, right? You want to, you want, you want to If you're just a Honda, yeah, if you want to be a Lamborghini, you want to be a Bentley, you know, metaphorically Right? I don't mean like turn into a transformer. I mean metaphorically you want to be the equivalent in whatever your whatever your in endeavor. You want to be the Lamborghini that shit. You want to be the fucking Bentley that shit. You don't want to be the Honda that shit. You don't want to be the Toyota that shit. They're good cars, they're fine. But if you're the fucking best, you don't have to convince people. You can charge a you can charge a premium with no fucking advertising like Bentley or Tesla. If you're fucking awesome, you ain't gotta try that hard. People come to you. If you're fucking awesome, if you're good at what you do. You're fucking straight, man. People always ask me, yo, how, what about the job, what's the job market like? You know, what, what should I major in? Should I major in marketing or whatever? Like you did, what's the job market like? I'm like, yo, it doesn't matter because the market deals with averages. And if you're fucking way above average, averages don't apply to you. It's not applicable. So you don't have to worry about what the averages are. You don't have to worry about what the markets, like the market averages are the same. You don't have to worry what the market is like because if you're way above average, then that shit is not applicable to you. 
know what I'm saying? There's big companies that in, in the recession, there's some fucking big companies that, that don't really get affected by it because they're just so fucking above average. Uh, Apple didn't take a big hit in the recession. In fact, they fucking launched the iPhone <laughs> during the, the, the recession around 08, right? They launched that shit. Or maybe before, or whatever. They're chilling. Now, I mean, you, you, uh, maybe I'm wrong about that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, Apple's got the fucking goods. People line up to buy the, the iPhone. You know what I'm saying? Because they got the goods. It's all about that, man. If you got the goods, then you ain't got then you ain't got to work that hard. You don't need to do shit if you're just fucking awesome. I know I've said something like this before in another video, but I, just, I feel like it's worth reiterating because it's really important. Focus on being good better than focus on trying to convince people that you're good.